and welcome back to a very special edition of Flora and the Novice Explorers. This video is going to be ever so slightly different um, to what you're used to and what we're used to doing, but hopefully it'll still be as enjoyable. It's day 33 and we have a fantastic opportunity to get a window fitted into Flora. If you've been following our journey and our progress, you might have noticed we've done all of the work ourselves so far. However, uh, this next task, uh, well this specific task is one we've been dreading for a while. We have considered doing it ourselves, we did all the relevant research and looked into it as much as we could, but we couldn't bring ourselves to actually follow through. <laughs> Basically, the procedure is a little bit terrifying. It involves cutting out a lovely bit of blue panelling and very much a one shot, really, to get it right. So having a window in the living space of the van is integral to changing the V5C document. Currently, Flora is registered as a panel van and we want to change it to a motor caravan. Basically, by doing so, you benefit in a number of ways from higher speed limits, cheaper ferries and possibly cheap insurance. Among other things, I think there's more bonuses as well because some campsites in Europe don't allow it on the campsite without a window in it. We've slept in the van on numerous occasions with no windows in the back and my beautifully made thermal curtain and blackout curtain put up in place. It's like being in a sealed can. You lose all concept of time. Well, anyway, that's what we put it down to with our ridiculous lions. So, what do we do? Well, we thought the only logical thing to do next was to call in the help of the professionals. Luckily, we've been given a huge helping hand from the guys at Van House and Vehicle Glass Company. So, we are now off to Stafford to Van House HQ. That's where the window will be fitted, hopefully today. The glass has been generously supplied by Paul at the Vehicle Glass Company. Uh, we actually met them at Buzzfest in 2017 where we managed to have a nice lengthy chat with them and actually get up close and personal to the products they sell. We could see from the look and the feel of the glass that it was really high quality and we sort of knew it fit the aesthetic of Flora really nicely with the blacks and the blues. We'd also like to say a big thanks to Paul. He's orchestrated this today. All three components of the job uh, he's helped organise. So thank you very much again, Paul, for helping us do this and not letting us do it on our own. All relevant links to websites and social media for Van House and the Vehicle Glass Company will be down below. Um, this is only a small section of what they do. Uh, Paul supplies a massive range of glass for all different vehicles and Van House themselves do loads of different uh, jobs on conversions, insulating, pop-top roofs, all sorts. Um, Electrics. Yep, recommend you go check them out. But today we're just having the window. Just the window. Just the window. Uh, but yeah, we're off to Stafford now. Hopefully we'll make it there and back. It has snowed and there's some more dew apparently, um, but we're on quite a limited time frame, so hopefully we manage to get there and back and all goes to plan.
Ta-da! This is the finished window and we are really, really happy with the end result. I think it looks even better than we imagined we thought it would. I mean, the outside of the van now just looks completely different. And from the inside, it makes it look even more spacious and even more light and airy, which is really nice because you've only got so much room in your van. So we just want to say another massive thank you to the Vehicle Glass Company for supplying the glass and for Van House for being so accommodating and putting in for us it's um like we said we're really happy with the results it does let a lot of light in which is really nice but at night time and in the mornings i'm gonna have to make a nice magnetic blind so watch out for that so this is one of the biggest transformations the van's been through i think and we're sort of feeling rejuvenated and we're ready to crack on finish the kitchen build which you've seen previously we're still doing that um the weather's better as you can see so we can get outdoors and actually film and work on the van because we don't have really enough space to do anywhere else so once again big thanks to the guys for their help uh any of the links down below that you'll need uh follow us on social media to keep up to date with what's going on in our lives uh but thanks for watching what a lovely window see you again next time bye